Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, for today, I will uh, explain to you about chapter 6, uh, which is uh, common share or common stocks. Same thing, right? Okay, so what are common shares uh, actually? So common uh, shares or common stocks is actually represent equity or an ownership position in a company so you so when you are buying a share from uh, any of the company you are actually all uh, considered as owning the shares owning the shares from not just the company but you are a part of the company so you have a, a portion of owner ownership in the company so therefore any net income generated by the firms also belongs to the common shareholders whereby these companies who uh, issuing this kind of stock ataupun saham uh, they need to actually pay a dividend okay especially to the share shareholders right uh, as a appreciation for them uh, to uh, buying their stocks and hold uh, their stocks and so on, right? Okay, so itu yang dimaksudkan dengan uh, pemilikan ataupun ownership position in the company. So, tak sama seperti when you invest in bond, you are not uh, the owner of the company and you are not entitled to uh, actually uh, become part of the uh, company. So, it's a kind of debt instrument for bonds. So, agak berbeza dan uh, kontra between bond dan juga common common share. Okay. So, let's take a look on a few types or a few characteristics of common share. So, kita nak tengok uh, beberapa jenis ciri-ciri common share tersebut. Okay, ataupun saham lah. Right. So, pertama sekali for the first uh, characteristic of uh, this common share, common shares have residual claim. Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan residual claim? It means that in the case of bankruptcy or liquidation of the company, common stockholders are the last one to be paid after payment done to the to the bondholders and also preferred stockholder. Jadi apabila uh, syarikat itu uh, uh, mungkin berlaku masalah uh, dan asetnya dicairkan seperti disebabkan oleh uh, bankruptcy dan sebagainya. So uh, common stockholder adalah the last one to be paid. Uh, so kalau ada lebih-lebih daripada pencairan aset tadi barulah uh, dibayar kepada common stockholders. So the first thing adalah dia akan bayar kepada bondholder dulu, nom, uh, kemudian kepada preferred stockholders dan kalau ada lebih barulah uh, being paid to the common stockholders. So ini yang dimaksudkan dengan residual claims. However, common stockholders memang entitled for dividend payment but also after it has been paid to the bondholders. So, kalau ada coupon uh, yang tertangguh yang need to be paid to bondholders, they have to pay this one first. And if any dividends uh, delayed uh, or uh, deferred dividends needs to be paid to the preferred stockholders, they need to pay to this preferred stockholder first. And then, after that, barulah boleh dibayar kepada common stockholders. So, ini yang dimaksudkan dengan residual claim. Second characteristic of share, uh, common stock adalah ataupun uh, share, uh, it has the voting right. So, the common stockholders are allowed to vote on certain key matters such as, pertama, uh, mereka memiliki uh, hak untuk mengundi voting right. Uh, di dalam syarikat seperti ketika election of the board of the right directors ketika memilih ahli lembaga pengarah authorization to issue new shares of the common stock uh, mungkin uh, dalam mesyuarat untuk uh, uh, mengeluarkan ataupun untuk menerbitkan uh, saham, bar, saham baru daripada syarikat tersebut the approval of amendments to the corporate chart. So, kalau ada apa-apa amendments yang perlu dilakukan uh, terhadap struktur companies, uh, mereka juga boleh vote 
dan approval of merger or proposal. So mergers, mergers proposals uh, yang dicadangkan mungkin uh, so memerlukan juga voting uh, daripada pemegang saham tersebut. So they have the voting right. So the shareholders may come in person to vote in the firm's annual general meeting uh, but also some uh, right now untuk memudahkan biasa mereka memilih uh, voting menggunakan prok proxy lah. So ada wakil yang akan help uh, them untuk uh, uh, buat voting. So, ada two types of voting, majority voting dan juga cumulative. So, kalau majority voting, each share akan allows one vote. Setiap satu share akan uh, membenarkan untuk satu undian. And each position on the board of directors is voted separately biasanya. Untuk ahli lembaga pengarah biasanya dibuat secara uh, berasingan. So, kalau cumulative, maknanya each share akan allows a number of votes equal to the number of directors being elected lah. So, itu untuk yang jenis berbentuk terkumpul ataupun cumulative vote voting. So, mereka akan uh, untuk satu uh, share tu akan allows a number of votes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, sama ada uh, vote tu secara single candidate ke ataupun berpecah split ke so depends alright depends kepada situasi so kalau jenis yang terkumpul dalam satu share dia boleh vote a, a few numbers lah kalau majority voting satu share satu vote sahaja okay so ini adalah voting right yang ada ke, uh, ke untuk uh, uh, anyone yang invest in common shares especially and limited liability Uh, common shares juga memiliki uh, a kind of limited liability. So the owners liability in the case of bankruptcy is limited to the amount of their investment lah. So sebanyak mana yang dia invest sebanyak uh, the uh, uh, much to uh, that um, uh, amount sahaja lah, uh, kan? So of course then uh, most of the time in the case of uh, bankruptcy um uh especially right um biasanya common stock order ni jarang dapat the whole amount of uh, whatever they have invested uh, dia lah uh, tidak sama seperti bond holders okay uh, because of the residual claim tadi juga uh, salah satu sebabnya okay And also we have preemptive right untuk uh, shares. It gives a uh, preemptive right ni. Uh, it gives a kind of right, but not obligation. Eh? Bukan satu kewajipan, hanya hak sahaja of existing shareholders to purchase all the new shares of common stock being issued by the firm. So in the case of uh, uh, the firm are planning to issue uh, some new shares saham baru. So, uh, the preemptive right that they have is that they can actually buy this uh, new shares uh, because they are the existing uh, shareholders of the company. So, they can buy uh, the shares, right? Maybe at an, any attractive uh, price compared to the market price, okay? This is the purpose is actually to prevent the existing shareholders from unwillingly losing their proportionate ownership sebab nak menghalang uh, biasanya bila isu new share jumlah unit share akan bertambah dan proposition oh uh, sorry pro, uh, position of the share pemegang saham juga akan turut berubah okey portion yang Uh, berapa uh, persen yang dia orang own dan sebagainya akan berubah so untuk me me menyamakan balik uh, mereka diberi preemptive right untuk um, untuk uh, menyamakan balik dia punya percentage of share the, uh, whichever they own earlier lah uh, okay. itu untuk preemptive right okay. and Move to the next topic adalah types of uh, stock ataupun jenis-jenis saham yang ada di luar sana, right? So, uh, this is a new uh, things to you. Uh, maybe uh, 
um, because I think you have learned in uh, fundamental of finance as well, but uh, this one is more quite details. Okay, ada beberapa jenis uh, share atau saham yang ada di luar sana. Okay, so let's take a look on the first one. We call it growth stock. Atau in bahasa adalah saham pertumbuhan atau saham jangka masa pen pendek. Okay. So, uh, growth uh, stock ni adalah stock yang uh, has experience and is expected to continue experiencing uh, consistently high rates of growth in operations and earning. So, these stocks is usually uh, chosen by those who seek attractive capital gains through price appreciation. Biasanya dipilih oleh para pelabur yang ingin mendapatkan keuntungan yang agak besar, agak menarik uh, melalui price appreciation. Maknanya harga stok yang growing growth ni dia boleh naik bila-bila masa sahaja dan investor boleh ambil kelebihan tu untuk jual balik share tersebut dan dapat keuntungan lah capital gains. Ini yang dimaksudkan dengan capital gains dekat sini. Right? So, these features uh, is uh, applicable to those uh, those uh, stock yang berbentuk growth stock. Dia memiliki high price earning ratio, PER, low dividend payout ratio and low dividend yield or no dividend at all. So, it means that this growth stock, kemungkinan dia tak bayar pun dividend kepada shareholders dia, right? But it, it has a high price earning ratio disebabkan harga dia tadi boleh berubah dengan uh, agak uh, besar. Okay. Uh, itu adalah jenis yang growth stock. Okay. So, uh, pendapatan yang diperolehi oleh investor yang invest dalam growth stock adalah this one. Capital gains. Iaitu perubahan kenaikan harga unit satu saham tu yang akan menguntungkan dia. So, dividend mungkin ada, mungkin tak ada lah. Ha, dia tak dapat dividend maybe atau ad, kalau ada pun sedikit low dividend sahaja, right? Tetapi uh, dia dapat untung melalui capital gains tadi lah disebabkan uh, kenaikan harga. So, high growth stock issued by normally smaller companies yang di kategori under clustered in young technical or research oriented fields with high demand product. Biasanya produk mereka ni uh, memiliki demand yang tinggi uh, dalam industri technical or research atau dalam industri-industri uh, agak uh, uh, orang kata rapid lah, ha, rapidly Uh, uh, berubah dan permintaannya tinggi right to their products for larger companies they are normally involved in office equipment industry or drug industry and the price are normally for volatile dan saham growth stock ni kalau kita tengok carta dia dia memang sangat volatile dan uh, if you invest in growth stock dia adalah kategori high high risk uh, risk dia tinggi sebab price dia sa sangat volatile seperti my eg kan pernah dengar tak servis my eg yang you pergi renew road tax insurance and so on so my eg uh, dia punya share sangat uh, unik juga uh, mungkin disebabkan uh, people keep uh, using dia punya services dan harga share dia boleh breakout bila-bila je. Uh, right? So, uh, breakout dekat sini maksudnya share tu boleh uh, memecah rekod dan boleh naik. Uh, contoh daripada 20 sen statik, dia boleh naik tiba-tiba naik 22 sen. Uh, right? Dalam masa sekejap sahaja. Okay? Itu contoh yang uh, growth stock lah. Um, also, Rex Industries. Ini adalah uh, syarikat besar juga, Rex Industries. AAX ni adalah AASIA X. Okay. And uh, Huan ni adalah syarikat yang involved in chemical manufacturing lah. Uh, right. So, agak uh, agak volatile dan uh, dia punya stocks juga agak growing. Okay. Jenis yang growing. So, we also have uh, next adalah income stocks. Uh, this one, I will see you in the next video.